And this is my circuit, just to give a quick example here. And I had a basic LED light. All right, so this is my light here. And this light can only have a maximum of, let's say, 2.5 volts. That's the max that this LED can handle. Now, if I didn't have this ohm here, and let's say that my source of energy was producing, say, 18 volts, and I didn't have this resistor here, if I turned this whole circuit on, it will basically blow my LED, and I just have a dead LED. So the way we protect that is there's sites and different calculation tools that you can use to find out how many ohms you need. So if you have 18 volts, how many ohms you need to prevent this LED from blowing? And basically we'll apply that ohm, we'll apply that calculation and, and find a resistor that can give us the amount of ohms that we need and we'll just place it here. So when this current is actually flowing up through here, some of, the, some of the current be limited and it'll prevent our LED from being blown, basically. So that's just a quick overview, but if you want to learn more about that, I just recommend viewing some videos about it and probably Googling it if you want to see a couple of pictures of, of resistors. So continuing, since we've got an idea of what resistance is, uh, going back to our triangle here, we have our V divided by I and R. So we want to find the resistance, basically, again, that's just going to be R equals V over I. And again, I just got that from that. So plugging in our values, what we do know, we know our voltage now, which is 18 volts. And we know our current, which is 3.5 amps. So plugging this in, we're going to have 18 volts divided by 3.5 amps. And right, we're getting a little bit sloppy here. So it's 3.5 amps. So just putting that in our calculator again. 18 divided by 3.5 equals 5.14 ohms. And again, we write that with a symbol here. 5.14 ohms. And I'm just rounding that as well. So that's for our entire solar panel. Alright, so now let's try to figure out how many watts or volts or amps or ohms each individual solar cell produces. So basically that's fairly easy. All we would need to do here is divide each one of these except amps and I'll tell you why in a moment by 36 since our solar panel had 36 solar cells would we'll divide each one of these values by 36. So let's start with the watts that would just be P divided by 36. And if you have 54 solar cells in your solar panel, this would just be 54. So just plugging in our values, we'll have 63 divided by 36. And again, plugging that into your calculator. 63 divided by 36. 1.75 watts. And again, we will do the same thing for the other values. I'm just going to write these down here. So we have 1.75 watts per solar cell. So let's say for the volts, it'll just be V over 36, which is going to equal 18 divided by 36. Again, putting that in our calculator, we have 18 divided by 36. And that's going to give us 0.5 volts per solar cell. And skipping the amps, because like I said, we can't do that one. But the ohms, again, that would just be R divided by 36, which is equal 5.14 ohms divided by 36. It's going to give us 5.14 divided by 36. It's 0.14, let's say 0.143 ohms. Now, the reason I skipped the amps is because in our system, we are adding the voltage and the current is staying the same, basically. 
So we can't really apply the um, the method that I'm trying to do here with dividing by 36. Uh, and I'll just show you, if we check it, you'll see why. Let's just go ahead and say we are going to do I divided by 3.5. Or I did this wrong. We're going to do 36. I divided by 36. And that's going to equal 3.5 amps divided by 36. And we're going to get 3.5 divided by 36. 0.097 amps. 0.097 amps. Or we can just write it as 97 milliamps. But just to keep things simple, I just write it as 0.097 amps. Alright, so now what you want to do once you get all these values and numbers here, you want to check it. Make sure your numbers are matching up. First, let's just start with the entire solar panel. Let's see if those numbers are correct. So we got 63 watts. Let's just say we are going to verify that our volts is correct from, let's just use this formula. V equals, what was it, P divided by I. So if we plug in P and I, we should get 18 volts. So let's see if it happens. This will be 63 watts divided by, well, we have 3.5 amps equals, let's see what that equals, should equal 18 volts. So 63 divided by 3.5 equals 18. So it all checks out. So basically we can see that our numbers are correct and you can apply this to all the formulas that we had. But let's go to these individual solar cells. I mean it's individual numbers here for each solar cell. So uh, let's try it with First, just the watts. Let's try to verify that the resistance and the, well, let's just do the, the watts. Let's just say we're gonna find P equals I times V. Now, remember we had this number here, which I said we really couldn't do since we hooked it, hooked it up in series. Basically, this would be 0 0.097 amps times our voltage was 0.5 volts and putting that in our calculator, we should get 1.75 watts, but let's see if it happens. 0 0.097 times 0.5. And we get 0 0.0485, and that's nowhere near 1.75. But let's see if we change this to 3.5 amps. What will happen to it? And let's change this value up here. It's 3.5 amps. And now let's see what happens. Three, oops, 3.5 times 0.5 equals 1.75, which checks out. So that just confirms that since we are hooking these up in series, that the current would be 3.5 amps for each solar cell. And if you don't believe me, I'm going to uh, actually use a real solar cell just to show you that this does work out that each solar cell does produce 3.5 amps all right so now moving on let's say moving on from ohm's law now that's just a basic overview about ohm's law but now let's try to let's try to think if we want to buy well let's say we want to build a i guess 90 watt solar panel how many solar cells will we need? Well, let's just take a value that we already know. 63 watts divided by, we want to know, what are we trying to look for? We're trying to find out how many solar cells we need. So it's going to be divided by 1.75 watts. I'm trying to do this as I go here. Hey guys, to speed up the process of me getting the rest of the videos out, just subscribe to this video as it does show me you guys are interested and I try to speed up the process of getting the rest of the videos out as I do have to edit these and I do try to make them interesting. So again, just subscribe to the video and I try my best to get them out a little quicker for you guys.